What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I have a really cool, useful CSGO video for you. Now relatively recently, I've been lobbing up quite a bit with my friends and when I do, I'm usually in a lobby and we're going to be searching for quite a while in South Africa. It can take minutes, five minutes, possibly even more to find a competitive match, especially late at night. So while you're searching, you may want to join a surf server, bhop server, 1v1 server, etc, etc. However, when you're in a lobby, you can't simply go play, followed by browse, and open up this window over here. You need to open this in another way. However, of course, when you're inside of a lobby, you'll see this button grayed out as it is here, and you won't be able to click it. You can't open that menu at all when you're in a lobby on the screen over here, or even in a game. So the easiest way to do this is with a very simple command. Now, before I get to showing you this command, I will show you how to make it easier to access later on so that you won't have to write it down. Of course, binding it will work. However, binds don't work on the main menu over here. So the command, open up the console with your tilde key. And of course, if you don't have it enabled, visit the settings menu, game, and then make sure that enable developer console tilde is set to yes. Either way, open the developer console as such, and we'll simply enter game menu, command, one word, space, followed by open server browser. It's suggested over here, and as far as I know, it's one of the only game menu command functions. Either way, you hit enter after typing that in, and boom, we get the server browser over here. Note that if you're in a competitive lobby or you're searching for a game, by double clicking on any of these servers here, you'll leave the lobby and join the server. You won't be searching any longer. The way that you can stay connected to your lobby and join a server is you find a server you want, right click, view server info, copy the IP address as such with control C, close out of the server browser, type in connect space followed by the IP address and hit enter. Then you'll connect to that server automatically while keeping yourself in the lobby. And if you were to find a game, you get the pop up over the in-game screen. You don't have to tab out. You don't have to do anything like that. It's really useful. So on to my next few points. Yes, you can bind this to a key and it's relatively simple. Bind space key. So I'll go say nine space quotation marks game menu command space open server browser close inverted commas as such. And then as soon as I press nine, you'll see that absolutely nothing happens. However, if I'm in a game playing, moving around, I press nine, nothing will happen except for when I pressed escape and the pause menu is supposed to come up. Instead, the pause menu will come up with the game server browser on top of it. Why is that? Well, it's simply because these binds only work when you're in a match, not on the main menu over here, as you can tell. So there's a very easy way around this, and that is by using an alias. If you're used to toggling scroll bhop on and off between your normal item scroll and bhop scroll, then you're probably used to what an alias is. Basically, an alias is a simplified command where instead of typing in game menu command space open server browser, I can just type in menu, for example, hit enter and poof, it'll pop up right over here. How exactly do we do that? Well, we simply type in alias as such, A-L-I-A-S space followed by the name that we want to give it. So I'll call it browser as such space. And then I'll put quotation marks, game menu command space open server browser. Let me just check that that's spelled correctly. Yes, it is. I'll go ahead and hit enter and absolutely nothing is returned. However, if I type in browser as such and hit enter, you'll see that that command is now run. It's basically a manual bind that happens whenever we type in this keyword over here. Now, of course, typing in browser is a lot easier to remember than a game menu command space open server browser. So of course, an alias will be very useful. But of course, an alias and all of your other configs are reset to whatever is saved on the hard disk whenever you restart the game. So how exactly do we keep this alias browser, game menu command, open server browser, saved permanently in your CSGO? Well, it's rather simple. We just need to add it to the in-game config. To do that, simply close out of CSGO and head to your actual Steam application. I'll open it up over here, find Counter-Strike, right-click, Properties, Local Files, followed by browse local files. Once you're in this folder over here, head into CSGO followed by CFG. And inside of here, we're looking for autoexec.cfg. If you don't see that, right click, new, text document, autoexec.cfg. And if you see TXT after it, make sure to press delete a bunch. So the entire name is autoexec.cfg, not 
www.tbeta.txt at the very end of all of that. Enter, enter again, you'll probably see the icon change. And if you haven't already opened one of these files before, double clicking on it will ask you what do you want to open this file with? Simply choose Notepad. Of course, if you didn't see the .txt after it, which you may not have, it hasn't worked correctly. After calling it autoexec.cfg, there's still an invisible .txt after it. To solve that, head across to the View tab and make sure that file name extensions is checked. Then you can go ahead and remove that .txt so the entire file name is autoexec.cfg. Then over here is where we entered this command as we did earlier alias, browser, open inverted commas, game, menu, command, space, open server, browser, close inverted commas, we'll hit control S to save, close out of that, and the next time that you start CSGO, you should simply be able to type in that keyword that we entered earlier, which was browser. However, of course, if it doesn't work, then this auto exec isn't being run when your game is starting. Don't worry, that is possibly normal behavior, and it's actually really simple to fix. Simply find Counter-Strike in your Steam, Right click on it, properties, and head across to the general tab. Then under set launch options, we'll click on it. And at the very end of this, if you have any text, we'll put a space. Otherwise, simply type in plus exec space auto exec without a dot CFG after it. Then hit OK, close, and I'll go ahead and restart CSGO so you can see exactly the effect that it has. Double clicking on CSGO, then opening up the console with our tilde key, typing in browser as we saved it earlier, you can see that game menu command open server browser was run, and at any moment in time we can open up our console, type in browser, and poof, that screen will appear on ours. Anyways, thank you all for watching, my name is Bean Tech Noba here for Troubleshoot, hopefully this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.